and welcome back to my channel. So me and my YouTube friend Jessica Sam thought of this collaboration of copying Tenny Panosian classic red lip look. We fell in love with this look because it's very versatile. You can have this look during Valentine's Day or actually any day. So after watching this video, don't forget to head on to her channel and make sure that you also watch her version of this look. Okay, so let's start. But first, I have to remove my pimple patch. Ah, ah, ouch. Okay. Have you tried pimple patch? I feel like it's heaven sent because actually, you can just leave this on and put makeup on top. But because of this tutorial and because the camera will really catch the texture of it, like you can't really see, right? Mm -hmm. Let's use the Magic Primer by uh, Natasha Denona. I don't have that, but I have a primer that is also liquid, and I hope this works. I've seen this in a lot of Instagrammers. It's the Frisali Unicorn Essence. I love the smell of this. I don't know how I feel about liquid primer. Because with silicone primers and cream primers, like as soon as you put it on, you feel like your skin is really soft after but with this it's still feeling kind of tacky but you can see how glowy it makes my skin so what's next your uh, foundation it's brand new it is a really full coverage foundation i tried it out so unfortunately i thought i had the urban decay sample but i can't find it but you'll be happy to know that i'll be using this new l'oreal 24 hour fresh wear in the infallible line this is new and a lot of youtubers are raving about it and they're even comparing it to marc jacobs i don't know why it's so light but <laughs> so basically i'm doing what i would do with my concealer so i'm just gonna apply this under my eyes and then with my beauty blender damp i'm just gonna blend that out and you guys can see how full coverage that is because I probably won't even use concealer for this look because that is ridiculously good coverage. And it dries nice and matte too. I was interested to see how this looked on my face because on my hand, it dried uh, to a good matte finish. Okay, so what she did was put the foundation under her eyes. Oh my god, this is a little tan than my color. So this is the color 475. I should have gone to a lighter color, but we'll just stick with this for now. So she's not going to use any concealer. Good luck to me. I have a pimple there. A pimple that I have to cover So I'm also going to go in around my mouth here. So I'm noticing that this is oxidizing quite a bit. So maybe it's not as light as I thought for my complexion, but I definitely still need to warm it up and... Um, sort of match my body with my contour. Match One thing I do body. notice about this foundation is it dries matte very quickly. So I have to say, if you're looking for a matte finish full coverage foundation, this is really good. I mean, it covered everything and the finish, I personally think for me it might be a little bit too matte. I might use like a mixing medium next time I use it, but really good matte foundation. I guess the Urban Decay one is more full coverage because as soon as she lays it on, I feel like she covered a lot of areas and that's why the way she applies it, she applies it like concealer, like starting on the under eye and then on her blemishes. Okay, next is contour. I love this one. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in Y505. I have the Makeup Forever HD Foundation the liquid form so I'm just gonna follow her but using a liquid form in this brush I feel like the stick blended better than the liquid she didn't put a contour here I guess because she has a small forehead but when I did it my face looks weird like it really highlighted my big forehead more so I'm I need to put it on you just need it. So if you have a short forehead, a follow tenny. If you have a big ass forehead like me, then put a little more contour here. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna blend the contour on my cheeks. Okay, and then the nose, she said that this is crucial. And it can be because you're only using a beauty blender. Good thing mine has this tapered side. Especially when you're dealing with yes, a matte foundation, yeah. it tends to She's make your right. face look like if it you has have no a matte foundation, it you really have flat. to put contour so on this because contour you're going to be super one dimensional. Of the dimension of my face. You don't. What's next, Tenny? She used a Lorac Technicolor, and of course, I don't have that. That was like, like the things that she's mentioning is usually available in US. I'm gonna use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and hopefully that works but I don't know the name of that color so I'm just gonna put it on the description okay, so for highlight she used the Laura Geller and of course that's super hard to find here in Canada as well so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi highlight looks like this Ooh, it's actually really nice and it looks kind of the same as the Laura Geller one so I hope that this would work so I feel like she also used a brush kind of like this so this is my Luxie 522 brush just gonna swirl it there so I bought the cheeks, cheeks. Oh, wait onto my brow bone the and a little cheeks. bit above the arch of my brow on the brow bone and on top of the arch of the brows. Oh, I like her style. I just can't get some highlight on my brow bone with this brush, but like she just did it with this. I think that's enough, right? That was easy for the face. That's it for the face. So we're moving on to the eyes. So she uses the Benefit the Stay Don't Stray with my eye stay primer. Stray. I don't have that as well. But similar to that is this MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. So disclaimer, I'm just gonna do her technique and I'm gonna find products that's close to what she has. There's not even one product that I have that is the same as her. It's just, it's, it's all different. Shame. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. So now for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this palette by Marc Jacobs. It is uh, the Social Butterfly. So the closest one I have to Marc Jacobs is this Morphe 35W, which means they're all warm. Hmm. But I'm going to use this color. And again on the other side, starting high up on my crease. High up on my crease. Sort of a windshield wiper back and forth windshield first, wiper. and then start to blend it out in a circular motion. And blend it All right, out. next up, I'm going in with a small. Okay, so above the crease, windshield wiper motion, and then circular motion. Here's the thing with YouTube videos, you don't see the actual things that they do, like. Okay, like she said to do windshield wiper and then um, swirl up. But I feel like she blended more than that. Like right now I have to like still blend up. That's a thought. Sometimes when you watch a YouTube video, you're like, that's too easy. But not until you actually do it because you'll see how hard and how different it is when doing it on your actual self. But I'm liking it so far. Very natural, very neutral. I think we're in the right path. So the next step is getting a darker eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna use a Smoky Eye brush by Royal and Lang Nickel. Oh my God, how can she close her eye formation. and open this other one? And then once I add the liner to Tenny, that's a talent that I can't do. So, can you do it guys? Like, and then this is fully open. Why am I opening my mouth? <laughs> she formed like a V. She said it was a C, but it looked like a V to me. Tenny, know your alphabet. Kidding, I love you Tenny. I feel like the color that she used is way darker than what I have now. So I'm just gonna 
change the color into this. And then I'll just see if, oh yeah, it's a C, Cherise. Why are you questioning Tanny? She is right. It looks like a V, but like the motion that she's doing is a C. And don't go like tap, tap, here. tap, start near the lash line here. Not the very end, but like a, a third of the way. And then you can see. I like this. I like this technique. Tenny, I'm gonna keep this technique. Your motion is like doing a C, but you're actually creating a V shape on the outer V. Oh my god. And then she uses the brush that she used to put on the mid shade and she just blends it really well. I, I like her because her explanation is spot on. I was like, that's a V, but I actually use this. Yeah, I get it now. Okay, here I am questioning you, Tenny, when you have what, 809,630 views on this video. <laughs> Why am I using this? I am not gonna question you. You are my YouTube tutorial queen, Tenny. And just starting at the app. And then starting, oh my god, she's so good. How can she close? Her eyes and open this one. Uh, ah, fudge. And then blend with the one you use for your mid tone. I'm using a MAC 217 brush. If you're new to doing your eyeshadow, this brush is a must on your kit. Like, you can use this one brush. For everything for laying on your lid color for putting on your mid-tone for putting your outer V color this 217 brush you do everything on your eyeshadow so I'm gonna use this shimmery brown here uh, shimmery brown and put it on the lash and I'm just, gonna add just to make, make it look a little bit more interesting just to make it look a little bit more interesting right so I'm just gonna start to my bottom lash line, line. to my bottom lash oh, line that's nice and Okay, so right, she I'm is tight lining. So her tight lining pencil is so thin. She mentioned it's like 1.5 millimeters. So I'm just gonna use my definitely black pearl longwear eyeliner from MAC, of course. And I'm jealous of you, Tenny, because this is not as gentle as your one millimeter tight liner pencil, but okay. It's ticklish. So, ah, so now I told really you it's ticklish. Cat eye shape. So now to really give me that cat eye shape, I'm going to use my liner to just create an exaggerated mini wing at this I corner have a smudger, here. But I can't freaking find it. Where are your brushes when you need them? So like I said, you can amazing. just leave it this way or you can go in with a set of pretty natural lashes. I'm just also going to put mascara on my bottom lashes. She didn't put any on, but her bottom lashes looks like it's very full. Okay, we're um, going on to lashes. lashes. She had two lashes, lashes the Demi, really the Ardell Demi, Demi so and the Eyelure uh, in 117. And finally, I have a product that is the same style and the same brand. Finally, hold on. I think for this look, I'll go with the Eyelore. Wow. Okay, so I finally have a product that is the same brand and the same style as her. Ardell Demi 120. She put it up, but she didn't choose it. And she chose the Eyelore, which obviously I don't have. Now that I have the lashes on, I'm going to go in and just really lightly polish up my brows. My brows lately have been... Oh my god, this girl is lucky. She's not even doing a full brow routine. She's just filling in the gaps. Tenny, if I do that, I'm going to be set for failure 100%. So I'm going to use my Give Me Brow by Benefit first. So now my brows kind of look fuller than before. Now I'm just going to, what did she do? Just fill in the sparse area. Okay, just fill in the sparse area. Okay, what's next? And now, for the main attraction, So I'm going to lip. use my 
Stila, stay all day liquid lipstick in vessel. Okay, so she started in the middle. Use the applicator to line your lips. And that's it for this look. Like I said, the original. This classic look is amazing. Like, this is the kind of look that I would wear if I am a guest at a party or I have a date. Like, it's very classic and I love friend lipstick. I know my friends know this. There is a point in my life where I just literally use red lipstick every day i love this technique i hope you guys learned something from it i hope that you have a very good valentine's day thank you so so much for watching i'll see you on my next video mm.